A typical home being weatherized by the Macomb County Community Services Agency was used to demonstrate the work completed to state and local leaders and the press. The home used in the demonstration required a wide range of weatherization measures. A majority of the work had been completed in advance. Okay, next then I want to talk about the actual process then that is followed in insulating the walls of a house. The first step in insulating the walls of the house is you have to do a careful pre-inspection of the walls. And you're going to do this both on the outside of the house as well as on the inside of the house. If there's any holes in the walls. Uh, you also want to look at the condition of the wiring of the house. Uh, you also want to go ahead and see if there's any moisture problems that are occurring. And another thing we want to look at is, is there any duct work that's actually built right into the walls. Now, once we've completed that pre-inspection then, the next step is to actually do what I call pre-insulation work. And this can be repairing any uh, wiring problems that exist. It can go basically patching the holes in the walls. Uh, and so there's a lot of things that we need to do even before we start insulating the walls. The next step then is to actually go ahead and remove the siding. Now here you see evidence of where we removed two rows of siding. And this is very typical on an insulation of the walls. Uh, once you went ahead and removed the siding, the next step then is to actually drill holes in the walls. And this is very typical where you see two rows of holes. Uh, and the reason they use what's called a two-hole method is it provides a denser insulation. After I'm done speaking, some of you may want to just poke your finger in the wall and you can see how densely packed that insulation is. Now, once you've went ahead then and drilled your holes, the next step is the actual insulating of the walls. And to do this, you use a special nozzle uh, and you insert this into your holes. And as you can see, the special nozzle is connected to a hose which leads to an insulation hopper. And basically you have a person that is pouring insulation into the insulation hopper and blowing it into the walls. Uh, and then...